Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope your holidays were wonderful. I've been a busy bee for the past couple of weeks, repainting my whole house white. And we have this big jumbo sized wall, which is behind me, that needed artwork. And I couldn't find artwork that matched and had a good price. So I ended up going over to Lowe's. I got their thinnest plywood. I had them cut it to size in the store. And when we came home, we chose the quote, I believe in miracles to put on it. You guys can read more about why we picked that quote on my blog. I'll go ahead and add the link in the description. I hope you guys love this DIY. Don't forget to let me know what quote you guys would pick and why. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a DIY. Okay, let's jump right in. So this is what my wall looks like. This is actually just after removing my book page wallpaper. I put it up a few years back, but since I'm aiming for a cleaner look, it's not exactly a perfect match. As you can see, this is a pretty long and empty wall and it wasn't exactly white to start off with, so I removed my artwork and gave it a fresh coat of light gray paint. Following that, I started off by painting my panels white. Since this plywood was already primed, I skipped that step. Then I cut all my frame pieces to size and gave them a coat of black paint so they stood out. Following that, I used tape to tape all the frame pieces together. I actually used the same trick when cutting all the frame pieces as well. I had my panel laying flat on the floor and I cut each piece of frame, then I taped it to the panel to make sure it was a perfect fit. It definitely helped with those perfect 45 degree cuts. I also labeled my panels and marked each piece of wood to make sure I wouldn't misplace the pieces while securing it all together later on. We used a brad nailer to secure all the pieces together. We added three beams across the top, bottom, and center for the panel to have some type of support. As we were securing all the pieces, we noticed that the center beam was a tad bit too short. So we cut it in half and secured it to each side. Following that, we inserted the panel and we found that the easiest way to do this was to slip one side in, then slightly bend the panel and squeeze in the other side. The fact that the panels were made from thin plywood was actually beneficial in this step. To finish off our canvas, we added a few more nails to secure the panels into place. For the quote, I printed out the letters onto regular printer paper. Then I used a pastel to fill in the back of the letters. You can also use a pencil or charcoal. I had a pencil or a pastel to choose from, so I went with the pastel because it was a lot quicker. Following that, flip your words over, attach them to your canvas, and trace each letter with a pen. Then use a detail brush and paint or a sharpie to fill them in. And that's it! debating on whether we should stain the wood um, frame on the picture or if we should leave it raw. So remember, you guys could totally have fun with that, change up the colors, and also my husband did notice that it was a lot of white space on the canvas. He was actually commenting on how it was too much white space for his personal taste. And I kind of freaked out, but then once I put it up on the wall, it like made the whole room look very clean and crisp. So if you guys are freaking out that your canvas is too empty, don't forget to at least hang it up and give it a try because it actually looks different on the wall. And in this case, oh, in our case, a little went a long way. So I hope you guys love this DIY. If you guys love my DIYs, don't forget to subscribe. That's it for today, everyone. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.